there's there's definitely a tough question of you know the classics and all of really academic pursuits have become so enmeshed in this idea of privilege and of you know a very very specific perhaps upbringing and um, you know it's a it's a shame because having had access to all of that it's you know very difficult to say you know everyone should have access to to this because you know um, like I said myth was introduced to me in, in elementary school it was always something that occupied a very important part of my headspace um, and was something that, that I was very glad to have the chance to engage with and work with. Um, you know, it's certainly not to say that we should go out and force everyone to read the Iliad, um, but, you know, I think that it, it gives us such an interesting sense of who we are as, as people um, to, to look back to that time and understand, you know, where um, just so much of the world that we live in now um, has come from that, you know, in my mind, you don't necessarily need to be working on a, a paper about, you know, syntactical devices in two poems by, you know, Juvenal or whoever, um, in order to, to appreciate that. I mean, I think that there's certainly a level of appreciation for these works that comes out of close study and really digging in and to an extent tearing them apart and putting the pieces together. Um, but I don't, I don't think, um, I mean, I think the, the impression that we need to find a way to push against is that that's the only value that they can provide and that's the only way that's worth experiencing them. Um, because ultimately, there's a, there's a type of engagement that's very, you know, nitty gritty. Um, but I think that in a very broad sense, you know, reading the classics, uh, you know, finding these ways to, to access the ancient world. Um, I mean, there's, there's entertainment value to it. Um, there's definitely a lot of, I think, value in understanding um, the way that it influences the world that we live in now, whether that is culturally, whether that's understanding, you know, the, the close ties between um, government and, and war and um, seeing in a way that's perhaps much more bluntly exposed than in the um, world that we're living in now, how, you know, war and peace and state all, all tie together. Um, I think that there's a lot that can be learned about our world by looking back to the ancient world. Um, and that's not something that you need to be, you know, immersed in one Greek poet for, you know, 15 years agonizing over two lines of text to do. Again, there's definitely value in, in doing that, um, but I think we start to, to get into, you know, our heads as a collective society, not as necessarily a field, um, that, you know, that is what these are, is something to be put under a microscope and looked at by people who study that kind of thing. Um, there's no reason why these shouldn't be, you know, appealing, like, widespread texts. Um, I think they could be, and I think 
um, there, there's certainly value uh, to them um, being being read widely. So I I hope that they you know can maintain a presence and a, a life certainly.